is Willie Crawford and I wanted to show you a new piece of software that I've been uh, testing recently. What the software is is called PDS PDF Pop-Up Pro and what it does is it lets you embed a pop-up in a PDF file. You can take any PDF file that's not locked or encrypted and you can add to it a, a pop-up dialog box or a pop-up subscription form at the beginning or the end of the file uh, and it, it's really really simple to use I'll show you by uh, creating one right in front of your eyes here so the first thing you do is it, it and it's the software steps you through how to use it step one is you just choose the PDFs and so I'm going to uh, click the button and I'm going to browse um, see I'm going to go to my blog talk radio show files and take one of those transcripts I've done recently I did a show called Tra How to Get More Traffic to Your YouTube Video. I'm going to take that PDF file, How to Get Traffic to YouTube Videos. I've added that file, and the next step is after you've added the file, to click Next. Sorry, it, it tells you now to select what folder you want to output the file to. Um, I've got a temporary folder, I'm just going to put it there. Okay and next and, and then step two is you choose the action that you want to apply when you open the file and the action you want to apply when you close the file so for open the file the action I want is I want to add a pop-up message so I click add a pop-up message double click on that and I've already actually been playing with the software so it remembers the last thing I did which is I had a message that says in less time than it currently takes to uh, upload your video to uh, YouTube you can upload it to 30 sites and so I want to I'll go ahead and use that message and uh, I want that message uh, what I want is I want the message to pop up and I want the pop-up box to show buttons that say OK and cancel so and when they click on the OK button on OK I want it to open a web page and I want the web page to be this one uh, you can put anything you want in that box it's, the software just remembered the, the last uh, entry so I add that event which is on open on opening the PDF file I want it to uh, I want it to show these two buttons and when they click OK I want it to take it to the web page at the same time when they open the PDF file and um, the, the dialog pops up if they click cancel on click cancel I want it to do nothing okay and so basically I'm gonna get you, you're gonna get this pop-up message here uh, when it first opens because I've selected that as my own open action and I could I could test this if I wanted to but I don't need to I, I know it works I've played with the software long enough so I'm going to click confirm there and it tells me I haven't tested the message but I like to test it now I don't want to test it right now because I'm going to show you that it works so it shows me that I have an on open action already set now I want an on close action and to do that I'm going to click here and on close I want to add uh, I want to add a, a pop-up subscribe form uh, get rid of this okay and it also remembered the uh, what I what I had the last time that I did it there um, I'm gonna leave that the way it is what, what it, it is it is uh, you put in here the URL you would like the person to go to after they have confirmed their subscription and here this is the autoresponder code um, that uh, it's fed to your autoresponders it can you can use a web or get response and this one I, I want I want to use the profit automation one or the one shopping cart one so let me see if I can find that file uh, da, 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 da. No, that won't do it for me there we go what you need is you you need to have handy uh, some variables for your autoresponder basically and uh, I have those variables handy so I'm, I'm just copying and pasting right now you can't see it off the screen but I'm copying and pasting um, some variables going back to here what this is is this what's fed to my autoresponder as a string and what it basically says is it, it, it it's gonna have a the forms gonna have a space for a name and and for uh, email address and a few other things but what's fed to the autoresponder is the name and the email address and which autoresponder if you have a 
multiple accounts on autorespond which one and also the redirect url all that stuff is being fed to the autorespond that's what the, the string means and it's all in the instruction manual so but basically these these settings are i'm going to get get a pop-up box that is going to feed into my autorespond campaign and this is the thank you page after it's fed and this string is what's actually sent to the autoresponder uh, to tell it what to do to let the autoresponder actually add the subscriber to the list uh, so it, it, that's what all these variables are and um, all this means is I have a one shopping cart account here or a private automation account which is the same as one shopping cart it's my private label uh, here you can choose what you name these boxes I won't one box named e uh, name and one named email and you can put a can spam compliant uh, message here uh, I, I use something like we y you can put what you want there really but uh, I like to put this is what's going to show up beneath the subscribe box so I put we hate spam and we'll protect your data or I want to put we promise not we promise see we promise not to spam you and to protect your data how's that and then you can choose the words you want on the submit button and uh, the words you want on the cancel button uh, this next box is this P PDF uh, program the software itself has an affiliate program if you're an affiliate you can put your affiliate ID here so that you'll, you'll see how that comes into play later and this lets me test the form I don't really want to test it I, because I'm going to show you that it works I know it works so click confirm and uh, the actions I've taken is step two is to choose what happen what to do on the opening and what to do on closing I've done that next step is to generate the PDF and so I'm going to click generate files and it says would you like to view the output directory which means it's just created the file it asked me if I want to look at the output directory and uh, I'm going to say yes and it going to take me over to the folder where that file is and see what was it how to how to get traffic to your YouTube video so this is the file right here this and I uh, so I click on I double click on this file to open it and you'll see what happens I, I open this PDF file and the first thing that happened was they got a pop-up box which is that pop-up box I showed you at the very beginning that on open action it says the last time and it currently takes you to submit to YouTube you can automatically submit your videos to over 30 sites and it tells them to check out whatever whatever the message was you put in that box if they click OK it'll take them to that website and uh, if they click cancel it closes that dialog box and lets them go ahead and read the PDF um, for demonstration purposes I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it it with my uh, browser it gives me a warning that you're leaving the ebook and about to go visit some website wants to make sure you know what you're doing and so you click allow and boom it's pulling up the website okay we can close this web page now and let's um, close the ebook too for now because I want I wanted to show you the second option back I'm gonna reopen the ebook and this is what your readers see again we already clicked OK but if we click cancel it just closes that dialog box and as you can see uh, let me adjust this little we've got the ebook here right and this ebook how to get traffic to your YouTube videos uh, tactics and tips from inside the internet marketing in a circle it's an hour long uh, session I did on ways to get traffic to your YouTube video if you want that you can get it at williecrawford.com forward slash blog but uh, you'd re the person would read your ebook and when they finish reading the ebook they would close it and I'm going to click the close button now to close this ebook and then what happens is they get a pop-up box inviting them to subscribe they fill in their name and address they click the subscribe button and they're subscribed. They click cancel. Uh, the dialog just goes away. The ebook goes away. And that's how easy it is to. Uh, and, and this box here, if they click on that, takes them over to the pop up PDF site where they can actually uh, download uh, the software. Uh, but, um, and so that and that was the box I showed you when I was showing you that on close action. This is a subscribe box. It'll feed into my one shopping card account, but you could again use. Uh, a Weber or uh, get response or something like that too it's been tested with a lot of different places anyway this is how I embed pop-ups in my PDF files again this PDF I just showed you is available at willycrawford.com forward slash blog thank you